T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engines full power. And lift off of Transporter 8. Go Falcon, go Transporter. Stage one propulsion is nominal. We are T plus 35 seconds into flight. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower at Space Launch Complex 4 East. We are currently throttling down the engines in Power preparation. And nominal. In preparation for Max Q and great view you can see there on your screen of the vehicle. Max Q is the point Falcon of Falcon 9 is supersonic. Max Q is the point of maximum aerodynamic stress that the vehicle will see on Max ascent. Max Q. And great timing. We have just passed through Max Q. Now we do have five events coming up in quick succession. That will be Miko, stage separation, stage one flip, SES one, and then the start of the boost back burn on the first stage. Now Miko is main engine cutoff. That's where we shut down all nine of those engines MVAC that- engine chill has started. That's where we shut down all nine of those engines that you can see burning there on your screen. That will help slow the vehicle down in preparation for the next event, which is stage separation. That is where the first stage will separate from the second stage. First stage will make its way back to Earth with stage one flip and the boost back burn, while the second stage will have SES one or second stage engine start one. And that's where we will ignite the MVAC engine on the second stage as it propels our payload okay. to trajectory nominal. their targeted drop off orbit. Again, those five events are coming up here in just about 15 seconds or so. That is Miko, stage separation, Stage one flip and boost back burn, as well as SES one. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. Stage one boost back and back ignition. And really cool views there. We just had Miko stage separation. You could see the first stage doing its flip maneuver and the boost back burn has begun on your right hand screen. You can see that short MVAC nozzle ignited. Very, very cool views. Now we're coming up on fairing separation. Fairing separation confirmed. And there you can see the deployment of our fairing halves. They are now making their way back down to Earth. And we are coming up on the boost back burn here in a few seconds. Boost back burn Stage conclusion. Boost back shut down. And there we heard that call out for boost back burn shut down. And you can see on your left hand screen as those engines shut off. Stage one trajectory nominal. Great call outs there. Now the next major milestone coming up is the entry burn on our first stage, which is scheduled to occur around the T plus six minute mark. We're currently in our first of two M back burns. This burn should last for another four minutes or so. And as Jesse mentioned, the next milestone will be the first stage's entry burn coming up in about two minutes. For those of you who are unfamiliar, Falcon 9 performs two burns in order to land. The first of the two burns is entry burn to slow itself down before hitting the denser parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Without this burn, we'd only be using the atmosphere and Falcon's drag alone to slow down Falcon 9, which adds extra stresses on the rocket. A single Merlin 1D engine relights for entry burn, and following entry burn, the booster will go through its final burn, the landing burn, which should slow to trajectory nominal. Which should slow the vehicle down even more for a successful land landing.
And as you can see on the left side of your screen, we have two out of Falcon's four hypersonic grid fins in view. And they measure four feet by five feet and help us guide the booster to the landing site by actively changing the vehicle's center of pressure. You're also probably noticing some white puffs of gas from the first stage. And this is cold nitrogen from our attitude control system, which also helps us control the vehicle's descent. And again, the next major milestone we are waiting on is the beginning of our stage one entry burn, which is about 30 seconds away. Both altitude and speed are as expected for both our first and second stage. Stage one entry burn startup. And as you heard, our entry burn has now began and will last for another 20 seconds. Stage one entry burn shutdown. Stage one FTS has saved. We've now completed a successful entry burn, and now that our entry burn has been concluded, the, stage first, one trajectory nominal. the first stage has one more burn left in preparation for landing. And as I mentioned earlier, we will be attempting to recover this booster for the ninth time today and are targeting a land landing on landing zone four. Another key aspect of Falcon 9 is its landing legs, and Falcon 9's first stage is equipped with four landing legs made of carbon fiber with aluminum honeycomb. And they're placed symmetrically around the, base, around the base of the rocket and deployed just prior to landing. We can expect that land, ent landing burn to begin in just a few seconds. Stage one landing burn. Landing leg deploy. And as you saw and probably just heard, we had a successful first stage landing at landing zone four. Stage two, turn all balance. Marking the ninth landing for this specific booster. It also marks SpaceX's 200th landing. Stage two, FTS has saved. 200th landing of an orbital class rocket. Next up, we are expecting the shutdown of the second stage MVAC engine in about 20 seconds. MVAC shutdown. 